Yeah, if anyone heard the uh, great discussion on Wellington Access Radio yesterday, both Tino and Sting from Richter were uh, chatting away to Amy for a good hour or so, really, about uh, Derby and the Wellington region and just basically uh, Aotearoa, uh, Aotearoa, actually. Um, I think I remember Sting saying that uh, she switched from being a defensive blocker to trying out some offence this year. Pissed off to the box this time. Followed closely by Slayer. Ah, yes, we've got two 666 numbered players, which might make it a little bit difficult today. They have to listen for the colours. So we're in a slightly different position today too. We're sort of um, by the sidelines. Relegated to the back. <laughs> it's okay. I can slightly see the scoreboard. So, oh, got a knot in my cord. Simba up the inside line, just like George in the previous jab. Missy just been caught up there, manages to get past, and then she's through. Simba trying to tiptoe around there. That was some quick footwork from both teams. Manages to get all four points, which is great. And that puts uh, Swamp on the board, four points to 15. Next up, Jamie, we've got Mad Honor, and who is that other one? Looks like Clear the Decks oh, to me. It is Clear the Decks. I'm just having a look at the food that's on offer, people. If you're feeling a bit, uh, I don't know, peckish, watching the derby action, we've got a toasty station today with vegan and gluten-free options. Don't say anything, ship. We know what you did last time. As well as we've got a sausage sizzle out the front of the venue here, and there's also a nacho station. We've got gluten-free nachos with both meat and veggie options. Sounds yummy, seeing as we're by the, uh, by the door here. Nice breeze coming through. Lovely sunny day here in Wellington. Can't beat Wellington on a good day, eh? Yeah, I do believe you didn't come up with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. Bit of a collision at the pivot line. We play it safe just in case. Keep everybody playing and on their skates. Simba Rogers up jamming for Swamp along with Furious George. Pack advantage to Richter. George just leaps over that last blocker with ease. Tino doing some offense, manages to get George through. Nice little gap created there at the top end, but she would say, uh, they would say it was worth the penalty, I think. Off to the box goes Tino. Power jam to Richter. George just being held up there by that nice tripod of Princess Di and Rutherford managed to recycle her, to recycle her, but out she pops. So I had to go and gather my notes. They were going to take off, and I can't climb over this wall. <laughs> Been a... Smack off to the box this time. Tino out. Simba coming up for another scoring pass. So I believe Richter are number 11. In the Oceania Wifter rankings. White, six, 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 four 
penalty boxes starting to fill up. Yeah, just two on the track for a Swamp at the moment. They've got three players currently in the penalty box. We'll make that two. Flirty Harry makes their way back to the bench. Just check it in. Can you hear us in the crowd? Give us a wave. Yay. I can turn ship's mic down or up. Just let me know. I'm the nice one, <laughs> really. Got to give a shout out to Hot Rod's mum who's watching on the stream. Hi, mum. Yep, Hot Rod's okay. She's up, she's playing, she's in this jam. Missy Tittle now jamming for Richter, manages to get through on the inside line. Yeah, it shoots past Pestilence. So if you're wondering, yes, there is no ball. There is no ball in Derby. The ball is the person wearing the star on their helmet. Think of it that way. Or if you follow stock cars, same sort of concept. The um, jammer is the point scorer and they have their blockers trying to block the jammer essentially. Geez, that was a really good basic description, wasn't it? All the words. All the words, <laughs> yeah. Very articulate. Some nice offence there from Killer Doll helping Simba Rogers through. Quickly followed by Missy Tittle, though. Who decides that's enough of that? I guess it's at a, well, an amalgamation of a number of sports, really. You can tell that it's an American sport. You've got offence and defence being played just about at the same time. Get your jammer through and then shut down the other jammer. You don't want to give away any points. Very technical. Plus, you've got wheels on your feet. What could be better? Much better than jogging. Whoops. Pause. The refs know what are go what's going on. Some bad luck there for Toth Bickies, just as the, before the whistle started. Wasn't quite on the track. I think it was a blocking out of play. Would that have been correct? That happened there? Yeah, penalty called. So Bickies sent to the, to the box for 30 seconds. Mad on us, slipping through the top there. Hey, why do it forwards when you can go backwards, eh? One foot even. I think Meg could just skate with four wheels and that would be it. She That's true. Be able to do just fine. You see, Derby these days, uh, you can purchase wheels in packs of four. That's all you need. Yeah, that's it. I, I think Mad's actually done that before. Uh, finished seven. a jam on uh, seven wheels with a wheel missing. Yeah, picked it up, put it in her pocket, and uh, carried on. Yeah, there we go. I want to be like Mad when I grow up. Just saying. Yeah, the skills are amazing. Oh. She's just incredible. There we Look, go. Fighting up the top there. Um, up against Bickies and wall. Scrappy. Bickies, uh, Scrappy off to the box. And I've got to say it, it's Scrappy, not Hot Rod. Just saying. They are twins, though. It is a thing. Oh, straight through. Nice and easy. Beautiful jam there from Mad Honor. Tenor taking the uh, panty cover. Now, what do you call it now? Star. Star pass. Star, yeah, star, yeah, star pass, star cover. We were so dazzled by Mad's footwork that mm. I didn't even, didn't even catch that star pass. That's how amazing we are at, at MCing. Two sets of eyes and we still missed it. Honestly. It's a good thing they don't pay us. So much action though. Where do you put your eyes? Out the front. There oh, was nice a little bit of trickery there from Dandy Lion. It's all about getting low. George uh, doesn't even need wheels. Toe stops is all George needs. Back from the box comes Scrappy. Yeah, hanging out the back is Slayer trying to hold up Dandy from Swamp. Whilst we've got George zigging and zagging oh, past everybody. Manages to sneak past on the outside there. Dandy still held up at the back of that pack. Manages to get past. One to beat and does so. So 
Swamp managing to get another two points on that. Tough jam there for Dandelion. What's our score? 35-49 is pretty good. You're cheating. You can see it on your screen. There's, a, there's also That's a screen to your right, right there. I can't see that. I've got my glasses on, but I can't see it. The wrong. I could make up any score. You'd never. Well, some people would know. Make it up. <laughs> Clear the decks, fighting her way through the top of that pack. There comes the Richter pack, holding up Some Simba. Nice recycling there, just held up by um, Flirty Harry. Dex manages to get past Simba, fighting through. Does so. Oh, Dex off to the box for a forearm, I think. Forearm penalty. Yes, indeed. Simba coming around for a scoring pass. Just tipped out there on the apex by uh, a turn one by Tenor. Die off to the box there, blocking a down skater. Never a good thing. No, you've got to be upright in play. Tempting though. And, and bounce. There's three things. You think it's three things? I can never remember it. I always get two out of three. Two out of three ain't bad. Mad back on the jam line for Swamp with uh, clear the decks in the box. See if um, Swamps can capitalise on this. Power jam. First power jam start of the day. Let's go with that. No, yes. I don't think it is. No? Okay, no. second power jam start of the day. Like we said, we're going to make it up, people. We're just going to have to come along for the ride. Mad tipped out there at the top end. Oh, caught napping. Dex out of the pack, uh, out of the box rather, just tipped out by Killer Dull, manages to sneak back in behind her. Marty Vixen giving her a good old shunt to the inside. And manages to get past. Here comes Mad for another scoring pass. I can still see some smiles oh, on people's faces. Beautiful offence from Princess Dai. Untouched on the outside. That's how you do it. Slayer returning from the box. Patty down on her butt. <laughs> Just tipped out there on the inside by Princess Slayer and decides to call it. That was, that was a good fight at the that top between those two. Good, eh? Yeah. Slayer's all legs, though, you know. She can cover the whole track by just um, plowing. Plowing. Yeah. That's a safer way to put it. PC. We'll go with PC. PC yeah. yeah. So score is 49-57 to Richter. Pretty close. Close game's a good game. Missy Tittle now jamming for Richter, followed by Dandelion. Two false starts, both teams. Yeah, failing to yield, eh? You hear that false start, you just got to Wait momentarily and then you can go again. Doesn't look like Flirty quite heard that though. Oh, I tell you, that penalty box is getting a good run for its money. Yeah, but the NSO thought they were going to have a... Oh, hello, we've got Missy Tato off to the penalty box. Bad luck. Princess Di now with that star on her helmet. Being held up there and going... Nowhere at the moment. Looking for some offense from Rutherford. Takes a little whip. But off to the box she goes. Uh, does that mean that was a star pass, star pass to uh, Princess Di? Yeah, Princess Di's got the star pass. She was the pivot with the stripe. She is now the jammer. Yep. Oh, that penalty whistle's going off left, right and center. Here goes Hot Rod, not scrappy, off to the box this time. Hey, there we go. Missy sneaking through on the inside. Beautiful pass. Make sure you wave to your mum, Hot Rod. She'll be having words with you tomorrow. Gosh. 
This is going to be a full two-minute jam. I don't think Di likes that, but sorry, Di, them's the brakes. It's an old survival jam. No one can call it off. This is where the endurance factor comes in. And it was aptly named, wasn't it, survival? Because, my God, you just hope you survive those two minutes as the jammer for the entire day. I don't know. I, I don't jam. So hats off to the jams. Way power slide at the back. Beautiful power slide there, Princess Di. And I think Missy shot through on the outside to get round for points too. Doesn't look like there's any raffles today. I was hoping to hustle some dollars off of the crowd. Oh, we've got people selling for raffles. I'm sure we do. Make yourselves known. If there is a raffle going, let me know. I'll take commission. One for you, one for Richter. Or if you just want to give me money, I'm down with that. Actually, you could give money to Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand, who are so kindly putting on this stream free. So don't forget to donate. I'm sure they'll put the link up shortly. You can try and topple Crazy Crabs, who is their top donator at the moment, I think. Yeah, let's hear it for Crazy Crab online. Well Come done, on, you. Crabs. Make it a tenner this time, Crabs. Ten cents? Ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars. Ten K. Ooh, there goes the nest egg. They're doing an awesome job. You know, whatever you give helps to go towards their awesome uh, equipment. I think they're trying to look at uh, a... Um, some, what would you call it, quad, some virtual um, MC gear that uh, we can stream what? from the comfort of our home, or sorry, MC from the comfort of our home. Nothing like the drive to Wellington, it's fabulous, going through the gully, only because I don't have to drive, yay! <laughs> Got Flirty in the box. Pack advantage to Richter at the moment. Sting getting set up for some offense. Distracting people there. Oh, use the butt. That's the just, way to do it, Doll. Use the butt. George just held up there by Killer Doll. Making them work, though. Slayer and Patty, followed by Hot Rod. Just and Doll clears the way for Simba. Beautiful little bit of offense there. Distraction. Oh, Simba managing to get past some hips. Scores two points. Yeah. Richter just edging away on the score. Let us know where you're watching from on the stream. We're all going to bunch up on that jam line at the back. Okay. Oh, clear the decks. Just tipped out on the inside line. Trying to find a gap. Sucked back by Mad Honor. Yep, Rutherford managed to get decks out on the outside line. That was a good shove. Mad Honor just going a little bit too far, enabling clear the decks to sneak back in on the inside, uh, outside. But... Just like that. Well, I'll say welcome to the, those of you in the crowd live here at uh, Kilburnie Rec Centre. Yes, it's a good good crowd up there. If this is your first doobie game, wow, you're in for a treat. Give us a cheer if you're here to shout for, uh, to cheer for Richter. And let us know if you're here to cheer on Swamp City. Oh, it's a, I would say that was a good... We'll try that again. Give us a good cheer if you're here for Richter City. And Swamp City. I'd say it's about even. Pretty even. Yeah, just wait to find out about the alcohol. Oh, yes. Don't forget, you can buy alcohol from down the way. 
Garage. Res yeah, Garage Projects. Yes, responsible drinking, <laughs> people. Oh, I, I, I do like a bit of Garage Project uh, chili lemonade they used to do. I'm not sure if they still do it, but that was so good. It was worth going to the penalty box for. <laughs> Tell you. I think that's a different type of doobie if you've got alcohol in the yeah. penalty box. <laughs> no, it was, it was just lemonade. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm playing a different type of doobie then. Okay. That was the uh, Spills and Thrills tournament. Ah, yes. Sponsored by Garage Project. Yeah. Every team was, uh, was a different type of beer. Mm, that's right. Best team, best team was the yellow team, just had beer. I think they ran out of names, so that was awesome. Simba Rogers and Furious George jamming. So we've got a clear penalty box. That's probably a first. Yeah, I mean, the NSOs can have a bit of a breather as well. It's a lot of paperwork in Derby. Got to track these penalties. You're only allowed to have seven penalties. Per and, game. And then you get to have a nice cup of tea and a lie down. Permanent rest, yes. So you've got to make those penalties count. Simba through for lead jammer, but Furious George is hot on yeah. their heels. Wheels, as the case may be. Hot on their wheels. Flirty back to the box for another wee rest, shall we say. Yeah, make sure you finish the sentence. You can't leave it hanging. <laughs> Oh, look there, Edge, we've got some shout-outs uh, for our commentary. Well, they invited us back, so we must have done all right the last time. Well, ship was coming anyway, so I just grabbed a lift. Uh, let's try the outside, says Dex. No, says Swamp. Very good at um, splitting up those walls, eh? The chopping and changing and... Um, you know, checking out and trying a new spot it certainly seems to work for Dex. Keeps yeah. people on their wheels, moving about. Toe stops even. Manages to find the gap. Um, Mad Honor just tipped out there by Paddy. Great control from both teams with regards to footwork and space. Mad Honor looking for that gap at the top end. Yeah, takes the opportunity. Finds it. Yeah, Richter loses a blocker to the penalty box. Coming back, though, for some offense for Dex. Dex says that's enough of that. Oh, hello, it's your mate Patty in the penalty box. Who buys who a drink today, mm -hmm. eh? She can walk home. <laughs> Scarlet for your ma, I think that's what they would say. For the Irish. Missy Tittle. There we go, just waiting on uh, the call there from Whippet. Yeah. Gives that countdown. Who have we got in the purple? So we've got um, Dandelion jamming for Swamp. Just tipped out at the, on the side from Tenor and Phil. And in the purple we have Missy Tittle. Yeah, Missy Tittle still just caught up at the back there, surprisingly. No, strong wall from Swamp. Uh, Missy Tittle used to be a swampy, so it's always tricky when your teammates know your skating style, True. know all your moves. But also, also Swamp had a pack advantage. There was a 4-2 pack advantage to Swamp then, because uh, Richter had two in the box to start off with. Ooh, careful there. I don't even know why I have a chair. I'm too nervous. Look, I'm just... You're dancing. Twitchy. Is Patty about to return to the pack? You went to all that effort to pilch a chair, pilch a chair, and ah, there we go. There we go. Does it squeak like mine? Yeah, we'll blame the chair. <laughs> it, uh, Furious George dancing at the back of that strong swamp tripod with pissed smack and. Doll, Killer Doll. Oh, is yes. it Doll? Yeah. Yep. Doll kind of comes and goes. I hadn't seen Killer Doll for a bit. You never really leave Derby, to be honest. They no. reel you back in, one way or the other. If you're not playing, you're riffing. If you're not riffing, you're NSOing. 
Simba manages to hold off calling to get his blocker out of the box. Some smart derby there. Welcome Rhea Culper tuning in from the east coast of the United States. It's a long way away. Well, there's no sport on in the States, is there? What's, uh, what's the time in, 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 in the east coast of the United States at the minute? Dex manages to sneak around the outside. Oh, tough. Tough knock there to kill a doll. 1.30 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. That's a dedication to watching a bit of derby. Scoping out the competition, that's what it's all about. Never know one of these days, one of these Kiwi teams might get themselves over to the States. So far away. Yeah, states need to come to New Zealand. Best place to yep. be. Come to New Zealand. Everybody comes to New Zealand. Yeah. It's the best country in the world. We've got nothing that can kill you. <laughs> box is clear. Penalty box is clear. Yep, paperwork underway. 5v5, as they would say. Dandy just knocked out by Slayer and Patty. Oh, how'd she, how'd she get through that gap on the inside line? Missy Tittle. That was a lovely gap made by Sting. Nice star pass. So. Mad is not the jammer, but I didn't hear a penalty being called. There she comes back to the track. Māori Vixen, rather. Uh, incomplete star pass, which has gone become a penalty, unfortunately. Mm, 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 mm. So Dandelion, who was the original jammer of note, is currently in the penalty box. It looked okay to me, but there you go, I'm just the commentator. This is a sanctioned game. Yes, indeed. Get the uh, ranks rankings up and running again. So the rest know best. I'm sure what they saw was perfectly well within their rights to call. So to take a star pass, you must be upright, inbounds, and you have to in. hand it to... And in play. Upright, yep. inbound, and in play. Mm -hmm. So you go, you remembered all three. Eventually, you gave me the prod. So one of those things must have been out of order. Bench coach uh, Picklebum for Swampies calling an official review. I'm picking it's to dispute the star pass. Star we'll, pass we'll, we'll go with that. Yes, yes. Well, they'll have the discussions in the middle. That will be an interesting uh, watch back on the Twitch stream later on, I bet. Yeah, we'll see, see if Quaddy can pick up a, a replay. You never know. It's a challenge for you, Quad. No, we don't have an official's overlay. Seventeenth, uh, Rhea Culp has done a seventeenth season as an official, now a bench coach. I'm a lifer. That would be a good patch, a roller derby lifer. As opposed to the F1, S1 Lifer helmet. Mm. Uh, shout out to uh, Patches of Stevel, I believe it is in the States. Referee or used to referee, now does all those fabulous patches. You can get them on Etsy. Does all the derby patches, you know, with all the dates and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, they're amazing. Yep, pronoun patches, everything. Mm. So, yeah, it's great. So, Stevel, there you go. Roller Derby Lifer. There's another one for you. No charge. Just you say. Go, uh, Rhea Culper, you could um, trademark that one if you yeah. wanted. <laughs> All the ideas down here. Mm. Yeah. And we that. take commission. Yeah, absolutely. If you can hear the breeze in the background, we're just standing next to an open door, so you might uh, hear the rustling through the microphone. Don't forget to get your beers. You can get alcohol, all sorts of things, down at the Garage Project um, bar they've got set up down the end there. Cheap booze. 
not not quite sure what well maybe it's not cheap um but good booze down the end there treat yourself yeah absolutely down in tiny town there is alcohol from and garage project yep yep they've got beer and wine plus they've got seltzer they've also got karma soft drinks and they've also got rich coffee cold brew feel free to shout the commentators a beer just the one she's driving <laughs> You know, one large one, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm. But, you know, drink responsibly. Uh, just letting uh, all those here live that um, you can't bring alcohol um, outside. Please leave your drinks with a friend if you've got one. Um, if you need to go outside. Uh, no alcohol on the trackside seating. Currently, all the seating seems to be taken up by the teams, mm. which is fabulous. Uh, no alcohol in the carpeted areas, which includes uh, the counter by the entrance. And a little hallway to the left, which is behind the track, which I'm guessing is where oh, we're seated. We've got uh, our, our Fox, Mr. Fox, one of our refs, coming to tell us what was going on over there, perhaps. Okay. Is it, was it in relation to the staff bus? Yes. Okay, great. See, I knew it. <laughs> it's what you call non-verbal communication. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We nudge, could, nudge, wink, We could wink. do charades. That would <laughs> maybe work. Um, also, shout out to our Wellington, is it Wellington Free Ambulance? Is that what you call yourselves? Okay. Well, here we go. The was uh, like wanted the penalty on the white chairman rescinded. Uh, the um, penalty was rescinded. It was an incomplete star pass, not a imbalanced star pass. However, the white pivot entered the penalty box. So they will now get a penalty box violation. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Ah, yes, I did see the uh, white pivot, which was 2-8, uh, Mouldy Vixen. Roll on into the penalty box. Hence why she'd be sitting there now. There you go. Um, Rear Culp is offered to come and uh, referee the November games. Lol. <laughs> Just signing you up there, Rhea Culper. You might need to hop a flight to come and help out in November. How's that? Big tournament, two-day tournament happening here in Wellington. If you're stuck for some derby action. Yeah, I believe we've got a team coming from over, from Australia, I believe. Richter will be hosting. Yeah, George out the front. Here yeah. is George, takes lead. Flirty Harry just trying to tip her out at the top end there, but sneaks past as Furious George. Simba just being held up by Filthy and Bickies. And then the last stop, Tino. Managing to do a great job by their self for a moment there. It's like a wall of purple. It's fabulous. And then here comes the white team. What's our score doing? 66-104. Yeah, so, so far we've had one timeout and one official review for the first half. That's not bad for a high-end game of derby. Usually it's stop-start, stop-start. Although you never know what's going to happen in the second half. You never know. A couple of power jams and you're back in it. So we've got Hot Rod, Patty and Slayer in a tight tripod. Just catching Dandelion, but manages to sneak through with a bit of offence from Killer Doll, who slips straight back to defence. Yep, no, no hanging about. Offence, defence, you've got to do it all. Dandy, inside line again. Killer Doll, mad honour, doing an amazing job there, just holding up. Clear the decks, however. Off to the box goes Killer Doll. Tipped out by Mad Honor. Hot Rod doing some offense. Oh, beautiful oh. inside. Everyone was hanging out on the on the corner. That left the inside line completely open for Dandelion. And said, I'll take it, won't say no. Offensive cannonball from Flirty Harry up the top. Patty doing a great job of stopping Mad Honor from drawing that jammer uh, back any further than they needed to. And through the centre goes clear the decks finally. Dandy having a good old time there, manages to get a few points then call. Cool. 
Oh, Reaper, we missed you. I was looking for you. Saw your name there. Your tall drink of water, you. Hey, that's half time. Get away. Yeah, no. That was over so quickly. What a game. Wow, so our score sitting at 81 to 108 to Richter at the minute. And um, there's a few penalties happening there. I'll be interested to see who's got what. Yeah, I might actually go and check those out and get myself a list, you know, write a few names down. Mm -mm. Yeah, nothing like calling people out. Cod's usually good at putting up the penalties. from our NSO's He's doing a job account. of three or four people. He's he doing does. Fabulous. He must have been a woman in a former life. <laughs> he just started giving me the look. I'm going to get you a shirt saying you cannot say that for Christmas. It was a compliment, really. That's got to go on the back. <laughs> All right, people, it is half time. You've got about, oh, let's say, we'll call it 13 minutes before these teams get back on the track. So you do have some raffles out there. Someone's got to be selling tickets. Otherwise, you know, just give your money to ship. I didn't actually see any raffles. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be selling raffles usually by the food. Check out the food. Oh, I need food. Yeah, you've got toasties, vegan and gluten-free options available. And you've also got the sausage, sausage sizzle out the front. Oh, all the S's. Plus a nacho station. You've got gluten-free nachos with both meat and veggie options. Mm. Half time, hydrate yourself with some Garage Project alcohol. Yeah, they've also got seltzer, karma soft drinks and coffee, cold what brew. Is, I wonder if they've got any um, chili lemonade down there. Yeah, you're going to have to go and find out. Mm -hmm. We'll hold the fort. Can you lend me some money? Yes, I can. Great. There we go. Yes, we still have cash here in New Zealand, just saying. My kids rob my cash from my car. You know, you have your little stash.
rocking the plaits for the braids. That's Kill It. Kill It does that. Oh my goodness, I'm backwards hopping on toe stops from Furious George. You big, too can be like George. Big shout out from the crowd for Furious George. So there's two games happening tonight. The next game is at 7 p.m. So I think there's going to be a half hour or so break. Yes, indeed, yep. But that will be an interleague game, home teams. That will be Brutal Pageant facing off against Smash Malice. Missy Tittle dancing up the top. Tino and Scrappy holding up. Dandy Lion, but manages to get through. Missy on her scoring pass, looking for a hole, manages to find one, one to beat. Does so backwards, beautifully goes Missy Tittle. Oh, let's listen to the fabulous background noise of Wellington Airport. The ambience here. Creaky chair, airplanes overhead. Just eating my nachos, don't mind me. Killer Doll lining up to jam for Swamp. Oh, yeah. Beautiful style of jamming does Killer have. We are set and ready. It's a 4-3 pack advantage to Richter. We've got a Swamp player currently in the penalty box. Killer Doll looking for a hole. Scrapping at the back with Patty, but manages to get through Hot Rod on the ground. An awesome defense at the back from Richter. Bad luck there. Um, clear the deck's been called for a cut call on the outside line. Thought she had snuck through, but unfortunately the ref thought otherwise. Yeah, that was uh, both jammers in the penalty box, so no points happening there at the time with those two sitting down. But we do have one jammer currently back on the track. Two-minute jam now? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, survival jam, as we like to call it. <gasps> Give us a wave, Patty. <laughs> hey, not like that. Mm. Patty off to the box. Yeah, she'd be naughty. So if you infringe against an opposing player, you are sent to the penalty box for 30 seconds. Can make all the difference. It used to be a minute. Oh, really? It, yeah, back in the day. Back in our day? Back in our day. It used to be one minute, I know. Plus you've also got to count the time to get to and from the penalty box. Is it really a minute? Yeah. Hey, Dole, star back on the helmet. Gunning for points. Welcome back, Patty. Fabulous blocking up the top by Mad Honor. Number 8-8 eight, eight in the white. Killer doing a great job of getting around. Yeah, snuck past the hips of Sting on the outside. Scores four points. Ninety-four one one nine is the score. Hey, it's Pitbull. Pitbull's on the stream. Hello, my friend. That's right, the whistle starts. That was always confusing, eh? Two starts. You never knew. Is it this one? Did I hear a second one? Oh, we could reminisce about that. Yes, mm. back in the day. We still yeah. have to lie on the lines. The jammers were not released until the pack went over the pivot line. That's right, hey. <clears throat> got the old grey gray matter working on that one. Glad they got rid of that. Yep, sensible changes to the rules, because it's a weird enough sport as it is. No. If you're new to roller derby in the stands, <coughs> James, um, so roller derby uh, clearly is a contact sport. I'm not jealous you've got a new friend, not at all. Um, so the ones with the stars on their helmets are our point scorers. 
only they score points, so their blockers, so their opposite, uh, their teammates in white. Um, their job is to twofold, stop the opposing jammer and also help their jammer. And points are scored with every hip pass the jammer gets passed on the second round, second, what they do you call, call it? it? Yes, you Initial have, pass. You have your, yes. I'm really not good at, at explaining the rules. Know how to play, don't, not really good at explaining it. We have a jammer going to the box saying high five to their pivot. So the skater with the stripe on their helmet, stripe cover, that is the pivot. They're like a backup jammer. So if you, you know, if it's a two minute jam and you're feeling a bit, hey, we'll go with naked, you can pass the star to your pivot. They may not like you for it, but hey, that's their job. That's what they're there for. Yeah, I'm not really great at that anymore. I get a terrible rash from those oh, helmet covers. Tell me about it. I don't think even, anyone's ever managed to make an allergy-free helmet cover that, you know, blockers want to wear. Mm -hmm. See, we've got some old faces out in the crowd. I see Scandalass out there. Scandalass is an OG Richter player. Hey! Frequenting the bar, keeping them in patronage. Thank you. Ah, oh, there's, there's a bench manager or alternate who knows the rules. Picklebum is an amazing up-and-coming derby player. I think he's been playing since he could walk. walk. Yeah, or crawl. <laughs> we'll go with crawl. crawl? Yeah, yeah, he probably rolled over, put his skates on him, you know, just went zoom. Mad couldn't catch him after that. Natural ability. That's it. I make no apologies if you can hear the cheer squeak. Mm, it's the cheer. Okay, it's my hip. <laughs> Say hi. Now you can check out the photos for these two games today, tonight. They'll be on Robbie Booth Photography's Facebook page. Probably in the next couple of days. No rush, Robbie. We know you're busy. And, and uh, he doesn't even charge. How's that? How good? Yeah. So if there's a high, if there's a photo you want, you know, in uh, high def, just message Robbie and he'll, uh, he'll sort you out. You know, for just a fee. Make sure you give him a shout if you share it to your Facebook. Absolutely. No, there's no stitch official today, not that I know of. Not unless someone's changing their name, we don't know. Ooh, doobie gossip. <gasps> we could start a rumour. I'm down. <coughs> Dex managing to sneak out the front. Dandy making it back. Soy Scrappy, Scrappy's off to the penalty box, everybody. Dandy manages ah, to find inside him. line. Beautiful. Nice job, Dandy. Beautiful inside line there. Sneaks through. Dex back off to the box. Yeah, back block. You've got to look after your back and doobie. Shout out to our referees today. We've got Firecracker. Yep, hanging out the air, down the back there with the blue helmet on. That is OPR outside pack ref. Firecracker also used to skate for Richter. Well, I guess still does as a referee in the referee capacity. Used to play, now referees. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I know. I've seen you ref. It's not pretty. I just make the rules up. I know. I've seen you ref. It's not pretty. Mm. Um, then we've got Fouled Out. He's a Kiwi staple in the referee circle. Yes. As, as, uh, so Renegade Rita generally refs down in these Wellington games, lives down here, so it makes sense to stay in your neck of the woods. Then we've got uh, Mr. Fox, who's just returned from RollerCon. For those of you who are watching on stream and went to or watched RollerCon, you would have seen our Mr. Fox, who's our jam ref today, went over there and held a ref clinic. Yeah, I think this is third time, possibly fourth time at RollerCon. And then we've got Invader Sin, who's done, oh, how many games now? Wasn't it 102 the last time we came or something like that? I thought it was more. I was going to say 300. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. It, was a, it was a few. We can start another rumour. Mm -hmm. How about that? <clears throat> And then we've got Greta Growler, who is a Richter ref. Indeed. Also used to play, now refing for Richter. Uh, the other jam ref. 
So when the jam refs in the middle there hold up points, you'll notice they'll each have a colour on their wrist to indicate which team. There we go. Growler holds up two. Wiggle, wiggle. There we are. Two also for Mr Fox. Half jam there. Clear the decks, doing the deep breathe. I heard the nice little there. Ship looks like she managed to find herself a garage project. Organic Lemmy Lemonade from Karma Drinks. Yep, I'm behaving myself. George out for lead, Ooh. as indicated by Mr. Fox. Simba just about taking a tumble manages to find their legs and tiptoe out the front, quickly followed by Furious George. <coughs> Hops past, looking for a gap, manages to, oh, just being held at the top, but sneaks past. Simba trying a bit of um, leapfrog, should we call it? Yeah, pancakes, hot rod. <clears throat> oh, just tipped out by Killer Dull. No, oh, that was second breakfast. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, it one, was one, two. One, one. It was second breakfast. Second breakfast. Elevenses? Hmm? Morning tea? What? Lunch? Afternoon tea? Are you trying a, an accent? <laughs> All right, ships never watched Lord of the Rings, people. No. We'll just put that in the official archive right now. It takes too long. Oh, my gosh. And then there's like four of them. Who's got time for that? Uh, no, there is three, and then there's the three prequels. Yeah, there you go. It's half my life gone. <gasps> I'm so going to bore you on the way home. Oh, can't wait. Slayer. Oh, I think this is the first time I've seen Slayer with yes, the... Yes, uh, indeed. Yeah, Slayer's jamming for the first time in the first second half. Jam, uh, Slayer used to be the main jammer for Richter City Roller Derby. It now has now switched to blocking and I believe is in the Team New Zealand team. Yes, training squad, absolutely. So, people out there in Twitch land, New Zealand is training for the World Cup for whenever that may be, just letting you know. We may be small, but we are mighty. Ah, oh, the pushing and shoving. All legal. Oh, beautiful um, offense there from Princess Die. Ooh. Slayer running into the back of. Oh, Moldy. Uh, no, that doll. was. Oh, no, it's Killer Doll. Yes, yeah, sorry. I thought. Killer Doll and Moldy Vixen seem to be sharing the pivot today. Uh, with Die as well. The garage bar project, garage project bar is still open down the end there, so feel free to quench your thirst with an alcoholic beverage. Dandelion and Missy Tittle up to jam. That's a tough. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad we're on this side of the. Uh, Wall edge, it's like I know. Tough yes, do be happening out there. We've been on the track with both of these teams. Oh, Ugh, ouch. to the bin. You don't often see that. There you go. Oh, she was here a couple of times in the first half. Just saying, oh, I had a quick squiz at the old uh, penalty list. Spin the needles uh, gave me the uh, the what's up uh, at half time. So, Missy is our lead jammer. Looks like Dandy's coming up for a scoring pass, though. So, be interesting to see what Missy does with that. Happy to let it run. Oh! Hot Rod having a wee lie down there on top of the jammer. And I try to block with one leg, which is an interesting tactic. All you need is one leg, apparently. And after all that, Moldy Vixen goes to the box. Okay! At a bit of a standstill at the minute. <coughs> Bicky's drawing back the jammer. Bad luck there, just didn't quite get the angle right and cuts tough Bicky's who drew Dandelion back, entering incorrectly, thus cut call. That's it. If you uh, get hit off the track by an opposing player, 
You've got to come in behind their hips. They have advantage. They've got uh, superior position on you. Missy managing to sneak through so easily there on that last pass. Finds a hole, charges through, gets the four. Two minute jam called. Both jammers have been to the box, so. Survival <laughs> jam, as we like to say here in the MC area. That was tough going. Hey, that's not who's playing for Richter today, it's Raygun. Hey, Raygun. Usually see you rocking the purple now and again. <clears throat> Everyone rolls back to the jam line. Ooh. What a... What's that game? You've got the pinball. Yes. That's what it's called, eh? That's what ha was happening there with Clear the Decks. There is a That's a very small pinball game that you play. <laughs> Bit of pinball happening here, <laughs> bouncing around. Looking for a gap is Claire the Deck. Sneaks back in, offense from Tenor, and up she goes. And calls it before Dandelion could hit the back of the pack. Um, also manages to get a ghost point. Is that what you call them? Not the one, the one in the bin? If the, oh, if that's the, the non-technical term. Are you not on the track? In OTT. Oh, yeah, but a ghost point, you, you, you get what I mean when I say ghost point. Eh? I do, I get what you mean. <clears throat> You're just coming in with all the colloquialisms, all the catchphrases. Love free points. Yeah. I am Edge, I am your official ship uh, translator. Autocorrect. For the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Autocorrect. We'll go with that, yeah, that sounds better. Simba looking to charge their way through the middle, manages to do so. George does the exact same thing. <clears throat> if you want to learn how to power slide a hockey stop, you got to go to Swamp City. They've got some great footwork. Oh, oh, my hey. goodness. There's no words. That, did you see that? Did you see that? It's like, look, Mum, no hands. Yeah, one Amazing. foot and backwards. Oh, tried it again. Didn't quite come off. You don't often get to shift mad, but there you go. Have enough power and force and drive. And George manages to shunt mad on her back and get past there on that last jam. And totes legal as well. Yeah. If you skate backwards, just stand your entire front down to your mid thigh is illegal. The legal target zone. I've never heard it called that before. There you go. My ghost point. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a new term for me. Hey, we've got a new jammer for Richter. 247, still on call. Stocky. Yes, AKA. still on call. First time jamming this evening, I believe. Tough wall there with Scrappy and Phil. Purple, one, zero, one. Oh, Bicky's there you go. I must have jinxed her before now. She's back off to the box again. Killer Doll shunting off Scrappy up the top end and getting through. Now the point scorer, Missy deciding yep, that's yep. enough of that. Yep, no parlays. Captain for Swamp managed to pop. Mm. Missy Tetto up the top on the apex and drag all the way back to the pivot line. So Missy's like, no, no, thank you. I'm going to call it. If you're enjoying the stream tonight, don't forget to um, donate. Be kind. Show the love to Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand, who do an amazing job. Yeah, two person team of Quad Father. And Dragon Ball Lee, although Cordy's by himself tonight. So shout out to Lee, wherever you may be. Hope you're well. <clears throat> Hello. 
No one's going anywhere. Some t tough tripods there. Oh, Dandy just knocked out on the inside there. Dex looking for a hole. Uh, then you've got both Paddy for Richter and then you had Mad for Swamp playing offense for their Dix, respective teams. Dix yeah. managing to drive that wall. Just slowly edging them out. Finds a wee hole and just knocked out by Smack. Goes out herself though, so Dex able to just glide back in front. Round for a scoring pass. Knocked out by Mad Honor. <clears throat> it's a long way back when you've been knocked out, isn't it? It is. You've got uh, 20 feet. You'll see the little yellow marks on the track. Those are 10 foot markings, including the jam line and the pivot line. So you've got 20 feet out the front of the frontmost in play blocker, which at the top of the uh, engagement zone. And you've got 20 feet from the back of the rearmost in play blocker. A few bodies hitting the floor at the moment. People, people starting to get a bit tired. What have we got left on the clock? Nine minutes or so? Thereabouts, yeah. Mm, Richter edging out with a score. No lead jammer either. Dick's being told to keep going. Nice wee shunt there from Bicky sends Dandy flying off the track. However, our, this floor uh, it's reminiscent, reminiscent of the old Swampies stomping ground. The cheese grater is what we used to call this floor, the cheese grater. Yes, at the Leisureplex or mm. something, mm. yeah. I call it the clacky clacky floor in mm. a technical mm. term. It's not concrete, it's not... I don't know what that is. It's not wood, it's plastic. Lino planks or something. It's unique. Shout out to Needles. Hey Needles. Daddy DeVito says hi. Needles is in the middle. She's currently going to be repairing the track. So what's happening at the minute? We've got a timeout. We do. Richter has called a timeout. So that's a one minute timeout. <clears throat> Probably because, uh, like I was saying before, a few bodies starting to hit the floor more frequently than in the first pass. We've also got Pātiro in the, in the crowd there. Kia ora, Pātiro. Apparently that's your name now. And hey, Mum. Hi, Mum. Yeah, all the mums. Yep, all the mums. Pātiro was the other half to Missy Tiro and Kamikaze. There was a good um, mother-daughter duo again last week in Auckland with Richter versus... ARDL, if you managed to catch the stream, lol. <laughs> it didn't happen. They did their best. Oh, I might be a bit uh, late for a conga line, maybe next time out. Half time, maybe. Half time, half time. Half time, half time. Yeah. Between the next game, perhaps. Simba and George. George charging through. Oh, my gosh. Simba tiptoeing on the outside. Manages to get past quite easily that round. Uh, oh, George Bean dipping. Yeah, took the offense as handed to her by Tino because we've got a 4-3 pack advantage. Filthy off to the box. I think she just did the, oh, well. Yeah, emoji. Sorry, team. Who's calling for a conga line? Oh, look, it's killer. Kill it, rather. Kill it. Not killer. Kill it. <clears throat> sure to kill it. I thought it was a bit quiet here, actually. Zoom, zoom. Missy takes lead. <clears throat> Uh, good use of pestilence to get Dandy through mm -hmm. on the outside mm -hmm. line. Beautiful. Missy just dancing on the outside with Pest. Manages to shunt her out and dance around the top two blockers of Killer, Killer and Mad. 
looking for guidance from her pack, her, her bench. Oh, they don't have a bench. From her teammates and decides that'll do. I suppose it's a collective, really, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Haven't really got time to, you know, yeah, we've have cracked a vote. The, no, <laughs> we've uh, cracked the 200 mark for Richter. 205 to 136. That calls for a drink. Seven minutes remaining. Lucky number seven. Oh, yes. Raffle tickets. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even sure who's got a raffle book or who's doing that. Maybe we're doing that after the second game. Who no, no. There's, well, there's definitely raffle, raffle tickets to be purchased. There'll be Richter people in the crowd. Is it? Happy to take your money. Absolutely. You've got three prizes. Ico Ico prize, a Thunderpants prize, and a merch prize. A Richter City merch prize. Some good comms coming from uh, Tino. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. Rallying, Thanks. rallying the troops. Are oh, you two edge? Yeah, thank you. I'll take it. <clears throat> All I can hear is the clacky clacky of the skates on the floor. Returning to the track is Simba Rogers from the box. Scrappy doing a great job of holding Simba up, holding that tripod together. <clears throat> yep. they, yeah, there you go. They've got Simba, so dedicated offence with Bickies trying to disrupt that swamp tripod. Both jammers going nowhere. Yeah, two strong walls of four. Some movement now. If I say the way is shut, would you know what I'm talking about? No? Lord of the Rings? No? Wouldn't have a clue. No, yeah, I didn't think so. It's wasted on my head. Oh, it's it's wasted, wasted on you. It's gone straight over my head. Bad luck. Bad luck to Simba Rogers. Was doing such a great job. Off for a 30 second break. Tino doing some uh, nice little slight, gentle um, offense there and glides through the hole, does clear the decks. Patty, Hot Rod, Slayer and Sting blocking <clears throat> for Richter in this jam. You've got Killer Doll, Moldy Vixen, Second Breakfast and Smack Beauty blocking for Swamp. Kapai, took you long enough to get that out. And then um, Simba Rogers in the box. There's a reason I do like to pause because the five second call is very important. Got to let the players hear that call. Don't want to over, uh, talk over the lovely little whippet. Ooh. Second breakfast, just about lost the breakfast. Up the top, falling over. That's right, they can have elevenses. Elevenses. <laughs> Lull. Took me a while. <clears throat> oh, beautiful work from George to stay in bounds there. Oh my goodness. That was like a jump of about oh, five feet. N possibly not intentional. Might have had a bit of help. <laughs> Gravity is your friend. Go with it. Tough tripod there with Slayer, Hot Rod and Patty. <clears throat> Killer Doll taking a star pass from Simba who now becomes a blocker. Smack Beauty just helping. Not that she needed much help. George sneaked past on the outside. Low scoring jam that one, was it? Oh no. Yeah, what did we get there? Couple of you know, couple of ins and outs from the penalty oh, no. box. I, I take that back, it was a 10-0 jam that last jam. <coughs> Missy Tittle hopping round. Oh, just hits 
the floor. Dandy fighting their way through. You've got to look for your offense. One to beat, two to beat. Nice recycling from the Richter team. <clears throat> Tenor decides to take a dive, but gets straight back up just in time. Still held up at the top end is Dandy. Both jammers going nowhere at the moment. Missy looking for an inside pass, finds it. Thank you, Princess Di. Accidental offense from the opposition. It happens, unfortunately. Dyer now with the star cover, I believe. Tipped out by Tenor. Fancy footwork at the top of the apex. Oh, by corner three from Missy Tittle. Wouldn't expect anything else. Scrappy doing a great job with Phil, just holding up Dye. He's starting to do the deep breathe. Some beautiful recycling happening from the, that Richter tripod. Dandy trying to get in there with some offense. Yeah, somehow Missy Tittle finds a gap in the, oh, by the inside line. Mm. A hole opened up and she took it. Always nice as a jammer when that happens. Nice little shunt but gets round. Again for another four points. Scrappy off to the box, multiplayer block. Oh, straight through goes Missy Tittle with at speed. <clears throat> yeah, multiplayer block, that means uh, you were blocking an opposition player whilst holding on to the arms, hands, arms of one of your fellow teammates. Can't use your hands in derby. Official timeout, I think. And you can touch your own players, but you can't touch the other opposing team. And Pseudo. I mean that in a respectful way. Pseudo Stripes taking offence to something, calling over the Swamps bench manager. Looks like Flirty Harry might have done her last penalty. Perhaps, perhaps. You're starting that rumour mill again. If in doubt, make it up. Make it sound convincing. Right, if you're watching the uh, stream, feel free to donate to our awesome Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand who do an amazing job at putting this on and supporting Roller Derby in New Zealand. Chuck him a fiver or more. Links in the comment for those who are appreciating the stream at the moment. Those in the crowd, feel free to come and throw money at us as well. Yeah, we'll take it. <clears throat> Back to the action. Uh, a bit of, bit of multiplayer happening there. There you go, finally called. Multiplayer action from Patty and Slayer. Yes, indeed, we have Swamp City. Mad Honor, number 8-8 eight, eight in the white, has lead jammer status. Oh, beautiful work from Mad Honor, slipping straight through. Smack would say that was worth it. Off to the box she goes. Tries it again, does Mad Honor, but just gets caught there. They've copped on. Second breakfast off to the box. Ooh, inside line, says clear the decks. Yeah. The penalty box is getting a bit full. Revolving door. Revolving door, yep. Yeah. Either that or food or beer. Beautiful work from Mad Honor. Both jammers on scoring. Richter all on their feet in the That's because this, this is potentially the last jam. Oh yeah, last jam, guys. That's yeah. it. And that is the game, I believe. Wait for the refs to officially call it. 
Yeah, put, tote up the, the last lot of points for both teams. Unofficial score at the moment, 148 to 255. End of game. Congratulations to our Richter home team. Taking the win, 255 to Swamp's 148. You wouldn't know it, though, would you, from the score? That was a tough, tough round. Oh, great game from both teams. Yep, give it up, everybody, for our home team and visiting team. Um, I believe the next game is going to be... It's 7 o'clock start, so that's in 20 minutes time. Feel free to stick around on the stream. Oh, we'll, call it, we'll call it 25 to 30 minutes. My watch is fast. <laughs> I like to be on time. We're so polar opposite. <laughs> we make a good team. <laughs> now the bar's still open, so feel free to go and... Uh, have some alcohol. Refresh yourself. You want that too? But uh, go and find those raffle tickets. Three fabulous prizes. We've got some gift, gift prizes from Ico Ico. Got some undies, some grundies from Thunderpants. They both come with uh, the rich coffee as well. And the third prize is the Richter City Merch Prize. Very passionate chant there from the Swampies team. And from uh, Killett cheering from Auckland. And Hot Rod managed to. Um, oh, Mum says hi. She saw all your penalties, Hot Rod. Awesome job from our referees to spot all them penalties. There was a few. Yeah, just the one uh, foul out, I do believe, from Swamp City near the end. Mm, was that Flirty Harry, I that believe? Was, yes, number 94, Flirty Harry. Big hugs all around. High fives. What, are you doing the home team one as well? And we'll be back with you for the next game that starts at about 7 o'clock, so...
Welcome back if you're joining us on the stream. This time round we've got We've got 81 Scrappy, uh, 337 Ada Shove Race, 420 Furious George in number 42. We've got Filthy and Paddy Wacker in 24. All the sixes Princess Slayer, second breakfast, 111. <coughs> second breakfast. There you go, 111. One. We've got uh, 1111 Simba Rogers in 22. Still on call in two four seven. Trouble. What? What? Ships having a disagreement with Patty. We'll just move on. Number forty seven. Trouble. And number one seven. Smack. Can you hear me? <laughs> Great. Smack can hear us. Yay! That's all we need to know. That is Brittle Pageant, rocking the pink, the red, and all the shades in between. Looks like I've got Smash Malice. Yes, rocking the black and a limited amount of leopard print team. Slightly disappointed in that, but anyway, here we go. Number one, two, three, Tito. 85, Hot Rod. 109, Sting. 429, Smash and Gab. 26, Metal Fatigue. 368, Missy Tittle. 5678, Velociraptor. 412, Clear the Decks. Number 14, Red Peril. 28, Moldy Vixen. Woo! And 88, Mad Honor. That'd be Smash Malice. If I've forgotten anybody, you're not on the list, but you're still here. Yay. <laughs> they can't hear me. That's great. That's, we'll, we'll keep it like that, shall we? That is Smash Malice, rocking the black and somewhat leopard print. Skating out on skates, as you can see, all the eight wheels is. Same as last time. Same as last time. Brilliant. Uh, so we've got uh, Fouled Out, Firecracker, Rita, Renegade Rita, Pseudo Stripes, Mr. Fox. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, I was going to let her drown on that one. Uh, <laughs> little Whip It. And Greta Growler. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, referees. And we've got some amazing NSOs. And we've still got Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand as well as... Okay, there we go. And uh, Robbie Booth Photography. I think Ed just turned me down. That's the problem. <laughs> she found out. Okay, uh, you, you sort of skipped over the NSOs. Get NSOs, yep. Yeah. Yeah. NSOs, NSOs. NSOs, non skating officials. We have Invader Singh, Dr. Reaver Song, Scathing Grace, Dizzy Gillespie, Grim, Spins and Needles. Oh, and Rita. Clear the decks and Simba Rogers jamming. New game, new jam timer in the middle is Skating Grace. She's got the whistle. She's going to 
Watch the clock for everybody. Simba just sneaking out for lead jam. Lots of smiles in this one. Oh, a bit of flair. Mm. Gets two points and calls. Everyone loves a home game. Princess Slayer and Missy Tittle lining up on the jam line. Nobody in the box yet, which is great. Missy Tittle dancing around. Furious George on the inside line. What? Hello, George is blocking? Never. Oh, she's wearing the uh, pivot stripe. Missy Tittle hopping over the outside. Oh, Princess Slayer, Gemma off to the box. Power Jam 2. Smash, Smash Malice. God, the black team. They're confusing me, I tell you. Ooh, pivot line start. I don't think we saw many of those in the previous game. We've got Scrappy and Filthy taking on Clear the Decks at the top, but Clear the Decks comes out. Yeah, manages to sneak past Filthy up the yeah. on the on the corner, coming around for a scoring pass. So it's the uh, gets through sideways. I'm just thinking, we haven't offended anybody today, have we? I'm trying really hard. I know. Uh, maybe it's my turn. You're off the track, Filthy. Get on the track. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say it's the filthy tarts in black and leopard print, but, you know, I said it now. They had a power jam. Take the advantage. Hot rod jamming. I don't think I've seen a hot rod jam tonight. Hopefully she remembers how. Oh. <gasps> Is that Ada Shove Race? No, no? that'd be uh, Stocky, still on call. Still on call, jamming. 24-7. For Brutal Pageant. She must be a nurse to have a name like that. Uh, just about. Vet tech, I believe. <laughs> or, you know, in the animal field. Hot Rod charging through the inside. Does so. Oh, tumbles over. Up and away. Missy looking for a gap to rejoin her blockers. Does so. Still on call, managing to get through. Hot Rod taking another tumble. Uh, Jam has been called. Second breakfast. Not killer. Look oh. the same. You and Pete, they've got completely different skates. <laughs> Second breakfast, gone for a cup of tea and a lie down in the penalty box. Mad Honour and Simba Rogers lining up on the jam line. Scrappy Phil and Smack. <coughs> no. Yep. Is that going to make it up, aren't you? I can tell. Says 17. Is that smoked? Yes. Mm -hmm. Smack is alternating today in the Brutal Pageant team. I bet her mum is watching. Ferocious from Carpety Roller Derby. That was a scrappy jam. I missed it. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Go on, people. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Tino, we've got a Tino jam. Oh. 
Lovely work. Sneaks through on the outside following the offense created by Missy. Quickly followed by Princess Slayer. Nice wee apex jump there. Jumping past Patty. Beautifully done. Yeah, great blocking by uh, the Smash Malice team. A couple of uh, newer skaters um, in that lineup. I think that's the first apex jump we've had tonight. Uh, George probably tried a few earlier on, no doubt. Hashtag be like Tenno. No doubt mad, what, mad skates on one skate. What am I talking about? Dick's been called for a false start but yields and manages to get back in the play. Now up the top we have Scrappy blocking, taking on Velasa <laughs> Rapture. Manages to hold her up for a good while. Yeah, solo blocking is tough. Jammer comes out on top though. Black team, they have lead. Sneaky wee star pass there from the red Jammer to Pivot. Oh, it's the Scrappy Jam. Scrappy ops for the long way round. Manages to get one point. The box is clear. Marty Vixen lining up to jam this time. Everybody's having a turn. Marty's got some moves like mad. Missy, beautiful offense there. Just trying to hold up Simba. Sneaks past though. Marty out. That was a, a nice little sort of hold by Simba. Mm -hmm. Just thinking, oh, I wonder if uh, Missy's going to spot this. Yes, she did. Missy's very good at uh, racing out. She's so quick on her feet. Skates, rather. Quick on her skates. There'll be feet in those skates. Mm. Slayer and Dex back up to jam. Box is clear, full, full packs on the track. Nice and easy route on the outside for clear the decks, followed quickly by Slayer who finds a gap through the centre. Scrappy Filthy and number 17 trying to hold up Jammer and do so. Yeah, Slayer just stepped over the inside. It's those long legs, I tell you. That's it. Just, you know, anybody else would have to jump that. It's like, mm. no, just a step, just a step. Makes it look easy. Red Peril up to jam this time. They're shearing it round. Yeah, home teams like to be fair, you know, share and share alike. Everyone has to do all the things. Tenor yeah. trying to help out with some offense. Does enough to distract or disrupt that red tripod. Nice little inside line there. One to beat. Can it's stocky. Still on call. 24-7. Yeah. She get past that tripod. It was a single player, I think it was Dino, and then it was, uh, he had medal fatigue, and Maldi Vixen came up to join Dino. Reformed at the front. Second breakfast, George and Patty. Oh, just manages to slip past George. Still on call, still stuck at the back there. Could do with some offense from a red team. Here we go. Nice star pass to Furious George. Carol says that's enough of that. Yep, 
two touches of the hips, calls the jam off. We're sitting at 14.33 at the moment. Two smash mallets. See the team at the penalty box having a bit of a chin wag. Don't worry, oh, ladies. They're all get busy. <laughs> Beautiful work there from Velociraptor to contain Simba. And again, heavy three wall blocking against Simba. Yeah. Nice wee uh, smash malice tripod up the top. Simba still caught at the back of Mad Honor, Velociraptor, and Sting. Finding an outside edge though. Yeah, mainly through. Yeah. Meanwhile, Smash Malice. Find that Smash and Gab, number 429, has lead jammer status. It's a great block, some great blocking by um, that black Smash Malice pack there. How it did an amazing job to hold up Simba Rogers for a good half the track. Still on call and Velociraptor jamming this time round. Mad on a sting and clear the decks and smash. How many smashes have we got here today? We've got a smash on each team. We've got a smash and gab and smack. smack. Okay, excuse me. Back at it, here we go. Yes, clear penalty box. No one in there at the moment. Oh, beautiful hey. work there from Still On Call. Hopping over clear the decks. Nicely done. Velociraptor out of the pack as well. Still On Call coming in for a scoring pass. 
gets past two hips, two points there. Simba jamming for Brutal Pageant and Missy Tittle for Smash Malice. Missy dancing around the outside, dances past the, uh, the jammer and straight up the inside. And through goes Simba, 10 or just falling over there. Very tricky to track Missy Tittle, she's so quick on her feet. Manages to score three points, keeping the other jammer scoreless. Let us know where you're joining us from on the stream. Clear the decks, jumping over trouble to get a lead and first smack. Jam, yeah, first jab of the night for smack. Smack off to the box. We for have a cut call. Yeah, penalty. Uh, power jam for Smash Malice. So they'll make the most of this. Sneak straight through the middle with a little shimmy. Some good communication coming from Filthy to guide that wall, but Dex decides to just sneak around the outside. Looking for guidance from her bench, tells her to keep going. As uh, Pink Jammer returns from the box. Some nice offense attempts from Mad Honor. Just being held up at the top and knocked out. Decides that's enough for that. Yeah, red team held up. Uh, Malice's jammer at the top, like squeezed her pretty much like a pimple, popped her off the track. Well, that would explain why Ray Gun's not here tonight. Yeah, a bit hard to fly in from the old UK, I suppose. Gone home to visit the rallies. Mm. How about that All Blacks game this morning? There are now, uh, I think now there are officially a lot more uh, Warriors fans. <laughs> up, the, up the Waz? Up the Waz. <laughs> no, second breakfast, what are you doing? <laughs> just kidding. Hey, you're not allowed to have favourites in this game, but I'm just, that is a fabulous derby name. What? Just saying. What? Yeah. What? What is? Second breakfast. I'll tell you all about it in the car on the way home. <laughs> Clearly gone over my head, so there you go. A whole hour. Yeah. It'll be amazing. Nice little bit of footwork there from Furious George trying to hold up Marty Vixen. Marty Vixen smiling as the jammer. Slayer calling it off on the ground. Whatever works, doesn't matter where you are as a jammer. Hands on your hips, you're a, you can call it off. No, oh, there's a bit of rules involved in that one, I think. Is there? Yeah. You can't call it off if you're in the box. No, I think there's seven <laughs> sets of eyes. Seven <laughs> sets of eyes looking at us going, yeah, that's not right. Oh, no. okay. I told you I'd just make it up. <laughs> Refs, no. Up on the jam line for Black Team. With a little bit of leopard print is Claire the Dex. And in the red and pink, Brutal Pageant. Jamming again is Smack. Smash and Gab back off to the box again. Oh, nice work there from Smack to get through for lead jammer. 
Dex just being held up at the back by Scrappy and Filthy and Simba. Nice rotating tripod wall. <clears throat> Both jammers having a hard time at the moment getting through. Mad Honor tipping smack out and drawing her back to the back. That's it. You, you hit someone off. They've got to come in behind your hips. Kind of sucks the life out of you, doesn't it? Offense from the red oh, team. Oh, beautiful work to get their jammer through on the inside line. Claire still looking for a gap. Manages to find one. Bench telling her to call it, and she does. Good jam there from Smack. Managing to get four points, I believe. The score currently 23-52 with 11 minutes to go in the first half. Paddy looking like Ultimate Warrior. We might see a Paddy jam, you never know. I think we should have a Paddy jam. Yeah. Since we can't have a Panda jam anymore. No, that's true. That's a shout out to the Fenua Patals. Battle Panda. Oh, beautiful work from Still On Cool. Tiptoeing on the outside. Just being held up by Tenor and Metal Fatigue. Oh, beautiful work. Gotta love those toe stops. Red Peril looking for a pass. Manages to give it off to Tenor. Taking out Furious George on the way. Stocking, Still on yeah. call, looking for an easy point, not managing to find it. Oh, I take it back, gets three. Yeah, shunted the two of the black team further up the track, grabbed their points on the way. That's what it's all about. Get your hips past the opponent's hips. I say it's all in the hips. Simba, Scrappy and Phil taking to the track for Brutal Pageant with second breakfast in the box. Mad, oh, just slinks through on the outside with ease. Off to the box goes Slayer. We have a power jam to smash Malice. Will her team help her out? Yes, they do. Oh, nice work from Mad Honor. Sliding through backwards to get past Scrappy. Beautiful offense here. One to beat, two to beat, gone. Got a jammer on jammer action there momentarily. Yeah, nice hockey stop to avoid... You know, potential back lock. Slices through backwards and calls it off. Does mad honour. Where's the after party at tonight, Edge? Are we in the know? We are not in the know. Could be any pub in the Wellington region. There's a few to choose from. If you know where the after party is, let us know. We'll see if we can get you in for free. Oh, Missy holding up Furious George and manages to recycle and get back into that tripod of Tenor, Red Peril and Missy. Filthy trying to come in for a bit of offence. Yep, break it up time. Does manages to break it up and through goes Furious George. Enough to disrupt the wall. Marty, Vixen, Tenno and Missy managing to hold up Ferris George at the back. Dex and Stocky still on call. Lining up to jam. 
We've got full packs, which is great. <clears throat> no one's in the box. Dex looking for a gap through the middle, just being held up there. Just about takes out Trouble's top on the way. <coughs> Bad luck for Trouble, off to the box. Destructing the pack is the call. Whilst you've got uh, Claire the Dex just, you know, threading the needle, basically finding any gap that her teammates make for her. <coughs> Star pass to Scrappy. Mad getting in to disrupt that wall. Slayer hitting out clear the decks on the inside line. But through she goes. <coughs> Scrappy with the jammer. Panty. Uh, what do you call it? Star cover. Star cover. Yeah. <coughs> Excellent stuff. Both teams clear from the penalty box. So we're going to have a 5v5. 31.76 is the score to Smash Malice at the moment with five minutes, just over five minutes remaining in the first half. A timeout called for Smash Malice. Ah, brutal pageant. Oh, it's Soz. Same, same. Black versus red. I didn't think you'd be able to get those <laughs> wrong, but we did. <laughs> I take it back. <clears throat> we still got sausages out the front? Were they doing sausage sizzle out there? They were when we came in, <clears throat> absolutely. They usually sort of knock them on the head pretty, pretty soon. It's pretty cold out there now. Oh, hot sausage. Well, you know, they do have, uh, well, they had nachos, don't forget. Rutherford will tell us they still got sausages out there, Rutherford. Yep. Yes. Still, if you feel fancy a hot sausage. I don't like sausages. The old singer. <clears throat> but treat yourself, support uh, Richter City Roller Derby. Get yourself a... Or you could warm yourself with the alcoholic beverage. Does the same job. Less calories, probably. They also have non-alcoholic drinks. They do indeed, yes. Seltzer, soft drinks, and coffee. It's coffee. Simba and Missy Tittle lining up to jam this time round. Paddy, Slayer and uh, Second Breakfast doing a great job there at holding up Missy Tittle's dancing feet. <clears throat> there we go. Missy still held up there by Paddy. Second Breakfast and now Slayer. Can they recycle? And they do. Not making it easy for Missy Tittle who is so strong. Bad luck. Patty being called for a forearm call. Did not make that easy for Missy Tittle. No, the black team, though, held, uh, hung out at the back. Oh, taking a whip off your own teammate. Spin her around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Make sure you got your weight distributed underneath you. Metal Fatigue did a great job of, of taking that. <laughs> Oh, beautiful work from Missy Tittle to get past uh, second breakfast. Simba smiling. What else would you do? Hey? This is the fun <clears throat> game. Missy being told to call it from her teammates. Oh, Patty's going back to the box again. Just leave her off. Don't put it back on. Leave her off now. <laughs> she can hang out with second breakfast. Yep. Oh, I don't think the jam is going to make it. Oh, and she does so. That was a very long five seconds. 
Hey. The officials know what they're doing. Hey, that was a very generous officia- yeah. generous bit of officiating just then. It's a fun game. <laughs> Everyone's having fun. Five seconds can be a long time sometimes, oh, yeah, you know. Gosh, yeah. Especially it's, it's get two minutes if you're yeah. doing a two-minute jam. <laughs> Ref knows best. Yeah, they're the ones. They win in the end. Mm-hmm. The refs always win. Don't forget, if you're watching on the stream, give us a, a, a don't, don't be afraid to donate a dollar or two to Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand, who are doing an amazing job at putting the stream together free for all of you out there in the ether. The interwebs, indeed, yes. Anywhere else to charge mm. you for it. Sure, what else would you be doing at this time of the day? So feel free to flick a dollar or two towards Roller Derby Streaming's efforts tonight. Mm, Jammer is gone to the bin. Is that smack? It is indeed. <clears throat> Number one, seven. Alt for a brutal pageant. Smash and Gab rejoining the track and... Velociraptor being told to call it off. Take advantage of the jammer being in the box, I guess. Would that be yeah, tactical, a good tactical, uh, strategic court? move, you yes, know? Indeed. Take advantage of the jammer in the box for the next round. That's it. Have faith in your blockers. Power jam. Two. That's it. Yeah, smash Malice in the black. That would be middle fatigue. Oh, is it? Yes, indeed. Yeah, it is middle fatigue. You're right. Yeah, middle captain. Fatigue. Yeah. Tasked with the power jam. Tough gig with Slayer in your road. Marty Vixen trying to do some offense. Nice little shunt there from Tenor to get middle fatigue through. Yep, bop of the hips. Gets middle through for lead. Oh, tough old tripod there with George Slayer and second breakfast. Missy in the mix doing some offense. Destruction a pack called for 3-3-7. Ada shove race back in the box. Oh, Missy taking a tumble there. That's okay, she's blocking. It's all oh, good. Beautiful hit. Oh, bad luck. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, but you're not reffing. I know. Yeah. I can ref from here, though. <laughs> she's wearing stripes on the inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, you love it, Smack. Oh, gosh, was the call there as Smack whizzed past us. It's only two minutes. Oh, beautiful offense there from the red team. Yes, red, yes. Yep, <laughs> give Ship a clap. She got it right. It's the red team. Oh, no. Offense. That was amazing. Always nice as a jammer when your team... Oh, we're, going, we're playing backwards, Derby. Just a little bit. We're going backwards. Got to come in behind the person that hits you off the track. Mm. Oh, Tino just knocking... Smack out. And that is half time, guys. And the score is 36 to <coughs> 110. I'll just have a look on the stream. Just make it, yep, we're catching up. Absolutely. Half time, 15 minutes. Well, less than that now. Until the second half. Oh, Red Captain being called to the centre. I hope you've got your raffle tickets. No, I haven't seen anyone selling raffle tickets. You can't say that. There's definitely someone selling raffle tickets. If you're tickets. out there selling raffle tickets, let us know. I can't see anybody. Anyway, refresh your batteries. 
Grab yourself a drink from the Garage Project Bar. Still running. They've also got non-alcoholic drinks. There's also nachos, toasted sandwiches, um, gluten-free food as well, for those who are unfortunate. <laughs> you say it nicely. And sausages. Oh, that was a struggle, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you had to hold yourself back on that one. Um, what else have we got going on out there? Edge, when's the Warriors game anyway? That must be on now. I watch roller derby. Mm. Yep, sorry. I didn't even watch the rugby. <gasps> Blasphemous. Oh, they were never going to win uh, at a home team, home game. It's tough, tough going. Sure, I'm sure they tried their hardest. I think Ships offended 90% of New Zealand by now. I can switch your microphone off. you just got to pay me, just saying. <laughs> While you're out there waiting for the next half on the stream, feel free to donate to Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand. You can also watch this game later on. So how's that? That's definitely worth paying for. Yeah, it's only oh, what, a couple of weeks, month at the most, before they get popped onto uh, YouTube too. So there is a YouTube channel, Roller Derby Streaming NZ. See some of the archived games. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. We're having a bit of a corridor with the ref. It's not an official timeout. I imagine it is half time, so perhaps it's just a uh, ref catch up. Is it? Is it half time? Well, we're having half time. Hmm. Although, in saying that, Smack is uh, sitting in the penalty box still. Mm. Has it been released? So, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we have movement in the middle. No, false alarm, as you were. So, are we officially at half time or are we still waiting to start half time? Mr. Fox will come and tell us whether we're restarting half time. Wanted the penalty, the cut track penalty on B26 rescinded. Um, it was, so they won their official review. Grand, can you tell me, do we restart half time or do we still keep going? We restart. Okay, I'm just going to keep it as it is, which is great. Here we go, 11 minutes until the next half starts, so refill your drink bottle, learn some lessons from the first half. How about how not to go in the penalty box? And uh, we'll see you back in 11 minutes' time.
Red A051 for the raffle. And no name written on it. Red A051. <gasps> no name written on it. <laughs> and and last one is Cam, red A040. Whoever Cam is, Cam M, red A040. Might be outside having a smoke. Okay. So if we have no one click them, we'll redraw it right at the end. Is it okay? So you could just leave it there, that's fine. Okay, well, congratulations to Cam. We'll try and find who Cam is. And red A051. All right, who's ready to play some roller derby? Oh, you went to a hat back. Thank you for the hat. We'll try and find your winners. Red A051, Cam, and the other one. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, both teams are ready. They've done the chance. Woohoo! Hot Rod, just saying, that is not leopard print. Where's your leopard print, Hot Rod? Wow! Come on! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing it on the inside. Hot Rod has now become the bench coach. I would have just sucked that up and kept going. <laughs> Safety first. Just saying, blame Richter. They asked her back. Ah, Velociraptor is doing a great job trying to get through for a lead jam. Yeah, uh, took make, out Filthy. Yep, it is a power jam at the moment. Uh, passive offence. Now we've got some active offence coming in from the black team. Just about through, but they managed to recycle and get back together. Mad still in there threading a the needle for Velociraptor. Perhaps passive offence might do the trick to peel them off. Yeah, stretching the pack out to the front of the track. Mm. With, yeah, Val mm. yeah, up against Scrappy, 81, and Simba Rogers. Managing to sneak past them beautifully. Smack just tied up at the back by Sting. Looking for a... Helmet star pass. Star pass successful to Simba Rogers. Smack holding the pack now. Yeah, meanwhile, we've had a dosey do. The red team are at the back, whilst the black team were at the front. They've come back and tightly reformed. Mm. Very close. Velociraptor calling it off before Simba could get any points. If you've just rejoined us, we've got the winner for the raffle, Cam M. If your name is Cam M out there, Red 40, you have won a raffle. Along with red 051. If you have red 051. All right, Tino jamming for Smash Malice. If the, hold on to your tickets. If these remain unclaimed, we will redraw. And we've got Slayer in the pink and red for Brutal Pageant. He steps on the inside. Ran that jam a little bit longer than expected. Well, that's what the bench said. Still on call, jamming for Brutal Pageant along with Clear the Decks for Smash Malice. Tight pack there. Looks like 
Smash Malice have copped on to Brutal Pageant's jamming style and managing to shut that down. Uh, Dex out the top, and it is to grab, well, grab lead and also ping Scrappy for a penalty as well. Direction, I believe. Yep, direction. Uh, going in non derby direction, aka clockwise. Oh, just tipped out on the corner by Sting. Doing a great job at holding up, still on call at the back, rejoining her tripod. Yep, Stocky goes for the outside line. Oh, just, just lost her balance there. Looking for a star pass to her pivot. Manages to do so successfully and out shoots Scrappy. Clear the deck's being told to call it by her bench, Hot Rod. Yeah, grab the four points on offer. Marty Vixen stepping up for a jam. Rolling up for a jam, rather. Oh, yeah, you, you, you've got to start at the back of the pack, Marty Vixen. Normally wears the pivot stripe, so had a bit of a switcheroo with Missy Tittle, by the looks. Wouldn't it be great if you could start up the pivot line, though, eh? <laughs> Shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice We hit out from Missy Tittle. Marty Vixen dancing with the red pack and through... For lead jam over Missy Tittle, yeah, no, over uh, sorry over Furious George with yeah. Missy Tittle knocking out Furious George. Metal fatigue made the hole on the inside line for uh, Maori Vixen to take. I think Missy Tittle was playing this jam all by herself. She's like a magnet to the jammer, is Missy? Yeah, get them stuck on your butt. Oh, somebody's lost something. A number or something? Yep. Looks like it was the jammer's number that fell off. Lucky she found it. Might have been a uniform violation otherwise, perhaps. You're not getting any kind of eye contact from anybody on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, if, I believe it fell, fell off in the natural part of a game, or of a jam, so, you know, unavoidable. But she'd gone back on without the, uh, the armband on. That would have been potentially a penalty. Mm. She wouldn't have had a number on her arm then. If there's any refs out there who know what the, what the guts is with that, if you lose a, piece, a, piece of, a vital piece of your uniform, i.e. your armband... Whether that constitutes a uniform violation. True, we don't want to be, you know, leading people up the garden path with the I mean, incorrect I'm information. Happy, I'm happy to make it up. <laughs> Makes it interesting that way, doesn't it? <laughs> out the top. Simba's trying to hop around those oh, not getting black blockers. Oh, I thought that was pretty good. Just to be safe, though, recycles back to the back of the pack. Just in time, because Smash and Gab was coming around for points. Red Peril back up to Jam for Smash Malice, as is still on call. Oh, nice, nice wee bit of footwork there. Oh, bad luck there. Yeah, I thought that was good. Not quite. Nearly, but not quite. Close. Oh, but so far. On the line is out. It was on the line in. Patty trying at the back there. Doing a good job at uh, holding up Red Peril on her, like, white on rice. 
See, moving back. Yeah, well, they were moving backwards for a wee bit. Uh, and oh. here we go. Forward Up the guts action. goes Missy Tittle for a star pass. Looking for a gap, manages to run past two blockers, held up at the top by Slayer, but Slayer gets called for a forearm penalty, enabling Missy Tittle to just to glide right on back on right back onto the track. Oh, beautiful. Effortless pass there from Missy Tittle on the outside. Yeah, it's still on call to come back from the penalty box. Yep, yep. she's not given up. No, not at all. No. Nice little apex jump there over off his coming in breakfast. From, yeah, had a shove lace. And Paddy up against Dino. Uh, Missy's bench telling her to call it, decides not to. I think you'll find that uh, Missy was the pivot. She's now the jammer. Not lead. That's Not why lead. she can't uh, call it. Some good track awareness there. There we go. Points on the board for still on call. Coming at all. Nice little wee shunt there to Tino. All smiles all round. High five. Someone's buying someone a beer at the after party, no doubt. We've been told the after party is at some pub. <laughs> so if you know where that is, feel free to that's join a, them. That's a brilliant name. <laughs> some pub. Is it some pub? Yep. <laughs> Trademarked people can't have it. It's yep. ours. Now, if your name is Cam M and you bought a raffle ticket, red 040. You have won a prize. If you don't claim it, we will be redrawing it. Along with red 051. If you have ticket red 051, you have won a prize. Feel free to come down and claim it. Um, we will redraw that in about 10 minutes if you haven't claimed it. Watching the very beginning of the jam, we had Smash and Gab, who was jamming for the black yeah. team. Had the door shut on her by Looks Scrappy. Hit her out and ran her back. Looks like a bit of, bit of confusion there with Claire the Dex, who had the star pass. Looks like she had to go back and hand it back to the original jammer to retake it. Perhaps. Not actually sure what happened there. Probably playing it uh, safe. Yeah, that's the word, safe. Make sure you yeah, complete the star pass. We don't want any penalties. A Tino jam. This is going to be Tino pie. No pressure. And straight up the guts goes Tenno. Yeah. Gap made for them on the outside by Red Peril. And uh, Great offense. Simba right hot on their heels and calls it off. Oh, bad luck there from Simba. Trying to claim a point. I would have done the same, to be honest. Fake it till you make it. No influencing of the referees. Mm. <laughs> they might take bribes. That's influencing of the referees. <laughs> well, we do have Maltesers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best we can do. Still on call. Number 247 in red. Zips out through to grab Lee. That says hello to Sting. Well, oh, nearly an apex jump from Clear the Decks in the black. 
Now, if your name is Cam M and you bought a raffle ticket, number red 040, you won a prize. You have until 10 minutes left to claim it. And red 051, you have also won a prize. You have until 10 minutes to claim it. We will redraw. I'm just feeding the outside pack refs, making sure they're uh, taken care of. They're my people. We're bribing them, actually. <laughs> oh, lovely footwork from Patty to stay in bounds. Mm. Metal fatigue had to re enter from the back. It's tough when you get knocked down, that energy it takes to get back up again. Oh, beautiful. Just glides past Furious George. Metal fatigue with a bit of momentum now. Can we do something with it? Close. But Close. Ne nearly snuck Scrappy's point at the back, but mm -hmm. now the Slayer popping points on the board. <laughs> Refs are eyeing up our Maltesers. Yeah, I've got two out of three so far. Black. Smash. Smash Malice. Smash yes. Malice calling in official review. Not quite sure what it'll be for. Let's see if we can earwag. <laughs> Meanwhile, if your name is Cam and you have ticket number 040, you have five minutes to claim your prize. As with Red 051, you have five minutes left to claim your prize. We will be redrawing them, so hold on to your tickets, folks. I don't want to have to take these home, but I will. Well, that's not quite a redraw. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting <laughs> definition of a redraw. They're mine. I'll deliver them. How's that? <laughs> deliver. We'll wait on Bickies. Bickies can make the call on that one. I don't think she's going to let you take anything home. If you want to see the photos from tonight's game, go uh, along right now and like Robbie Booth Photography. You'll find them on Facebook. Derby photos. Can you get my skinny side there, Robbie? This side. Does some amazing roller derby pictures. NSO stealing our goodies. There we go, feeding the head NSOs. NSOs. And Roller Derby Streaming. Yep. NZ, yep. You can also feed Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand by donating some money. Oh, how was that for a transition? That was pretty oh, good. Oh, that was not bad. Did you like that? Um, they're doing an awesome job, so head over to the link that they've put up and donate some money. Donut, donate. So I now know to feed the Wellington NSOs Maltesers. But I might need a bigger packet next time, eh? Okay, all right. You're saying I was cheap. Mm. Right. Oh, it doesn't help that I ate half of them beforehand. Well, I was going to say I've got one left, but ah, never mind. Right, how many minutes we've got left? Oh, is the clock stop stopped? Yes, we have an official review. Black has called an official review. Mm, seems an opportune time to redraw. Perhaps our raffle. Oh, no, here comes the uh, oh, Fox, referees. Fox is going to tell us what the guts was. Let's see what the problem was this time. In a moment's time. Good learnings coming from, come from uh, official reviews try your luck with the ref as long as you know what you're talking about and who saw what and what the problem was and what you think you want from it. Generally it goes down better with the ref so if you know what you're talking about. Make it sound like a carnival game. Try your luck with the referees. Try your luck, yeah. Essentially. You never know what the outcome will be. If 
your name is Cam M. Cam M, you have won a prize. Come and see us. As has zero red. red. Okay. Oh, here we go. Was, black was after a captain's penalty on red for fielding too many players in the last jam. They had a pivot in the box and a pivot on the track. Uh, they won their official review. A penalty has been awarded to the red captain. Perfect. Wow. Thank you very much. I don't have to re-explain that because I'd totally hash it up. Thank you, Revs. We didn't even catch that. Did anyone catch that out? So yeah, so um, they wanted a penalty rescinded and got it. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, Red Team fielded too many players. They had a pivot in the box and a pivot on the track and a full cohort of skaters. So the penalty has been awarded, um, rescinded rather, or awarded to the other team's captain. Is that what, is that what it is? So there was too many skaters. Too many skaters. They got called out for it. It's a captain's penalty. So yeah. red captain will be sitting in the box, and the red captain is Scrappy. Not Hot Rod. She wanted to have another rest anyway. She got what she wanted. Smash Malice, grab Dex. lead. Yes, Dex. clear the decks, 4-1-2. Yep, decks out for lead jammer. Smack being held up there by Mad Honor, knocked out and drawn back by Sting. Feeding her back into that tripod. Some good communication happening there from Sting and that black wall. Uh, Trubs manages to push Dex yeah. to the outside line. Didn't Trouble. get it over the line. Trouble just shunted Dex through, really. Scrappy rejoining the pack. Dex, oh, man, it just about managed to get through on one skate. That's a great two-wall brace at the back with mm. Sting and Smash and Gab. Smack got through. Oh, Scrappy having another wee lie down. I'm just counting the red players, make sure they had the right number of players. They did, but mm. they didn't feel the pivot in that jam. Interesting tactic. Well, the pivot was in the box, remember? Well, she had the pivot. She did, but she wasn't wearing it. So, ah. mm. oh, it looks like she's going back for another one because she was not wearing the pivot helmet. She was supposed to be the pivot in the box and took it off. If there's any refs watching, you could perhaps clarify what happened there. Simba fighting with that black wall. Smash Malice Wall. Hey, toe stops. Nice. By Vixen. Grabs lead. It's always lovely when you can get past on your toe stops and dance your way through. Yeah, initial pass. Tick that box. She's coming in for points now. Oh, just tipped out there. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck, Marty Vixen. Forearm penalty called. Missy Tittle fighting with Simba up the front. Just about holds him, but he sneaks they sneak past. Got Asking for a bit of help, but kind of gets it. Mercy again. Now Tino's turn. Manages to knock Simba out and drawn back by Missy Tiro. Looking for some help from Scrappy. Simba shunts her out the road. Oh, here they go again. The dancing duo. <laughs> She's got your number, Simba. Oh, a beautiful run through from Marty Vixen. Yeah, out of the box, back on the track. There we go, red team. Oh, Look nice little inside line. Sigh of relief from Simba. 
Black team reforming up the front, mm. getting their wall together. Missy stopping that wall from recycling too far. Simba hits that wall and comes to a complete stop. Red team have got their eye on Māori Vixen. Yep, Simba not even deciding to fight with that wall, just waiting for the countdown. And we've got one minute to redraw the raffle. If your name is Cam M, you have one minute left to claim your prize, as does Red051. I am open to bribes. I'll put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we have a strong black wall holding up the malice jammer. Yeah, mad yeah. honour just chilling at the back for a moment, thinking about her next move. Yeah, Scrappy hits mad out to the inside line. Still working our way around that jammer line at the moment. Oh, here we go. Bit of speed. Beautiful. Managed to get through. Even all that chilling at the back and you still get through for lead jammer. I know. Perhaps there's something in it. Chill out at the back for a while. <laughs> Bide your time. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Smack back off to the box. Maybe there's Maltesers in the box. Mm. Who knows? I mean, that's the international sign for Calm the Farm, mm. as displayed by Sting. Mm. Yeah, settle, petal, and away we go. Oh, mad on us. Down on your knees, get straight back up and past Scrappy. Party at corner two. Filthy and Dex invited. Points are kind of blown out a little bit, but we won't look at them. Okay, both jammers back on the track. Sneaky star pass. Nice star pass there. Still on call now with the star cover. Jammer cover. Madonna managing to get another three points in that pass. Looks like we have... Uh, Slayer jamming for Brutal Pageant. He is indeed up against Metal Fatigue, captain for Smash Malice. Patty and George duo. And straight through goes Princess Slayer, followed quickly by Metal Fatigue, who's got a bit of pace on her. Yes, yeah, all the gap made by the red team and decided to take it as well. Bad luck. I thought that was coming. Had hoped they would look away. <laughs> like that oh. five second extended uh, <laughs> jam start. Eyes on everything, these referees. They see all, they mm. know all. Late hit called on... Um, Metal fatigue. Yeah, late yeah. hit called for metal fatigue, just hitting into Princess Slayer, I believe. After the whistle had gone, so off to the box for 30 seconds. So, Well, up to 30 seconds, because you never know what could happen in the next jam. Yeah. Um, so the red team will start with a power jam. Okay, we're going to redraw this raffle. This seems opportunistic. Have you got your raffle tickets on you still? We're going to redraw because it appears Cam has left the building. Um. Here you go, Edge. I'm not being biased. You can draw these. Look. Oh, there you go. A ref is going to... Oh, head NSO is going to draw one with a name on. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. What does that say? Red041. Red041. Rose... Somebody can't... Something. Rose15. Oh, I don't know. Something. And we need one more. Come on. One more. And the last one we've got is Ada. Red 
A066, Ada. Was it Ada Shovelace? It is. Ada, you have won a prize. Ada, did you buy a ticket? <laughs> it's a bit late to ask now. You did? <laughs> Was it you? Ship has awarded you a raffle prize. So we'll put it that way, shall okay. we? Okay. <laughs> we're so, back, we're back. So, Rose, if Rose doesn't collect, we're going to redraw roses. Power jam to red team. Red and pink. Rose B it was. Rose B. Well, you were having a go in there penmanship at one point, but... Um, oh, I just found another one, you see. <laughs> oh, it is a B. So we have one more raffle prize to draw. Hold on to your tickets. If the last person doesn't collect, we will redraw. Sneaky, sneaky from Metal Fatigue. Got back on the track and zipped through the inside line. Take a yes, take a bow. We know what that was for. It was re it was really for sneaking up the inside line. Ada seemed a bit surprised that she'd won a prize. I don't think she bought a ticket. Might be the wrong Ada. It could be. Anyway, we've got Princess Leia back to the roller derby team, and uh, we've got pr uh, Princess Leia and Tenor lining up to jam. Oh, Tenor does a beautiful little pirouette on the outside past Ada Shovelace. Possible winner of a raffle prize. She looks surprised herself. <laughs> Princess Slayer just sneaking past, forcing the call off. You never know, you might see that line up again. Rose B, if there is a Rose B in the building with ticket number 041. We hey. do. Yes. I was just about to give it away, girl. You're lucky. <laughs> no flies on ship. <laughs> So it looks like there we have our raffle winners. So thank you, everybody, who bought a ticket to support uh, Roller Derby. Absolutely. We have Claire the Decks fighting up the top. She's got help from v Velosa Rapture. Black team grabs lead. Out the back of the pack, we have Sting in the back, taking on, still on call. Mm, Sting, who has lost a number by the looks of it. Star pass complete successfully to Scrappy. Ooh, good old shunt there from Filthy with a bit of force. Got to live up to the name. Easy. To, I would have done the same, to oh, be honest. Yeah. Don't say sorry. <laughs> There's no sorry in Roller Derby. There's no sorry in Roller Derby. Which one does she want? <laughs> Congratulations, Rose B. Oh, Missy Tittle and Princess Slayer up to jam. We're into our last 10 minutes. Oh, nice wee shunt there. Oh, Missy Tittle just knocked out. Took a good shunt, did uh, Furious George, but managed to knock out Missy Tittle. Oh, there we go. Second time lucky. Shoots straight through the middle. Princess Slayer out on her bones. On the outside. Still got a smile on their face, though. Mm. I was just going to say that the penalty box was looking a bit empty, and lo and behold, George goes for a visit. She's deserved. She deserves a week. Sit down. True. She's been working hard today. Yeah. Two games, jamming in the first. Oh, a nice little bean dip seconds. from there from Missy Tittle on the outside. It's a very elongated bean dip, but it whatever works. Work those thighs. Mm. Lots of squats and derby. We're, we're heading into our last, what, three minutes? Is that what it says? Three minutes of roller derby left. Three minutes and 40 odd seconds. What's that, packing on the jams? We yep. have Scrappy versus Velocirapture. 
Scrappy in the red. Up against Mad Sting and Smashing Gab. Oh, bad oh, luck. Oh, no. Scrappy back off for another wee cup of tea and a lie down. So just blame it on Hot Rod. Hot Rod, not Scrappy. There we go. Lead Jammer. Velociraptor. Five, six, seven, eight. Velociraptor's doing an amazing job tonight um, jamming in the second game. Yes, indeed. Following her player. Nice offence there provided. Scrappy standing. Tino and Mad holding the fort at the back. Sting, oh, sting, sting and, rather. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, interchangeable. Sting and, sting and Tino. You would never tell them apart. Uh, Go hmm. with it, ship. Go okay. with it. Okay. Yeah. One's got long hair. Oh, no, Tino, you, Tino, you still got your mullet. That's long hair, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah business at the front, party at yeah. the back. <laughs> That's our Tino party at the back. Another Missy and Slayer combo, jamming. Missy following and Simba. Straight through the inside goes Slayer, followed quickly by Missy. You think you've got time to do O and then boom, there goes the jammer straight through the inside. That was a good solid wall at the back by the black team. Who's so fast? Missy, so fast. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, I was looking at the black team, the, the black blockers. I was like, Dino sort of pushed <clears throat> uh, a couple of the black team together. Like, yeah, I can't get there, but you two can. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. Is this the last jam of the night? Oh, there's just mm. over a minute left. You never know. I think it might be. No pressure, Scrappy. Stranger things have happened. Oh, Sting. Sting, sting, sting jam. jam. Sting through for Lee Jammer. Hey, it could be Tino, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Same colour uniform. Exactly. Sting through for four points. Scrappy looking for a star pass, but has... It's a revolving... There just we go. Beautiful work there. The Velociraptor trying to hold up. It was well S S still on call. Yeah, uh -huh. it was scrappy, but now it's still on call. And the stinger calls it off. And it looks like that might be the game. Oh, well, and it is. And Smash Malice take the win, two thirty-five to eighty-nine. Give it up for Smash Malice. And to Brutal Pageant for putting up an awesome fight. Let's hear it for everybody. Excellent stuff. These two teams are also in a, a four-way, oh, what would you call it, uh, intra-league sort of playoff with the two teams from Swamp City as well, the Trauma Queens and the Quad Bombers. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here on the live stream. Don't forget to um, donate to Roller Derby Stream in New Zealand. You can also catch a, a, this um, replay on Twitch um, for the next few days. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ship Stirrer. I'm Serrated Edge. We'll see you next time. Absolutely.